Um, I know you've always talked about wanting to play a lot and get into a rhythm. It, it looks like you're in that rhythm right now. Yeah, I feel good right now. Um, I'm just trying to go out there and, you know, give our guys a chance to win, make the saves I'm supposed to make, and maybe make a few more along the way that give us that extra chance to to come back like we did in Winnipeg or kind of stay um, stay in the game like you did last night until we were able to figure it out in the second period. The players talk about how it's important for them when they have the goalie. They know if they have a bad stretch, they can rely on it. How, how important is that game for you last night where you're like, okay, our guys don't have it early, yet you keep them in the game despite being outshot 10-1? to 1? I mean, that's, that's huge that the guys have that kind of confidence in me. Um, you know, I'm just, like I said, going out there and trying to give us a chance. We haven't had, um, you know, the best starts to, to start the year here in the first four or five games. But, um, you know, um, I know that if I can get us through that first 10, 15 minutes, we've seen to, to take over the game after that point. So my focus is on just going out there and making those first few big saves and giving us a chance to find our legs. You don't get to see Boston a whole bunch, but that top line might be the best line in hockey. Excellent at cycling. And Pasternak's shot, uh, you know, that's just a world-class shot. When you don't see guys like that very often, do you spend extra time watching them to try to know what to expect from his release? I try not to spend too much time on it just because guys like that, they never really tend to do the same things, uh, you know, all the time. I mean, the, you look at that goal in, in Boston, he can beat you with his hands in tight or he can beat you with a shot from afar. So um, guys like that are, are very special, like you said, and they might be the, the best line in hockey, not only in the offensive zone, but defensively, I know, like they're a shutdown line too. So um, when you get three guys like that that can kind of do it all at both ends, I mean, they're, they're tough to handle for any team. Uh, Wayne, Gretzky, uh, Wayne Gretzky said, yesterday that two years ago you were arguably, arguably the best goalie in the league and it looks like you're back into that place again this year. How does that feel for you? Uh, well, it's the first time hearing it, but I mean, honest, obviously, uh, coming from a guy like Wayne, that, that means the world. So, um, you know, I was just trying to, to come out this year and, and uh, you know, have a good start and, and give our team a chance to win every single night. And I feel like I've been doing that so far this season. And uh, that's just my main focus this year is just giving us a chance. And how does it feel to have Darnell in the nurse, or Darnell in the press there, batting them up? Yeah, I mean, he was joking that he was. You, you do so much for them. He <laughs> wants to help you out. <laughs> yeah, well, I should have had that puck cover, but thankfully uh, he was there to, to kind of back me up there. I joked with him last night after the game, like you made the 30th save there last night and saved the game for us. So um, obviously, uh, you know, you got to rely on those guys sometimes too. And he was there when we needed him last night. Cam, two shots in the overtime sessions this season and two wins. What's the confidence level when you guys go with three on three? I mean, we've we've said it before. Anytime you go three on three and you can put guys like Connor and Leon on the ice together, um, it's kind of a um, a matchup nightmare for most teams. I mean, last night um, they're they're really good team. They've got a lot of great guys that can go out there in three on three too. So. Um, Thankfully, Connor got back and, and his hustle paid off and picked off that pass to Bergeron. And, um, you know, whenever he gets the puck in, in overtime, it's pretty special usually. So um, it's always nice to have those guys on the ice. 